for clear, control Z for undo, and control F for find. Shortcut keys, or these options, is worth memorizing because almost all programs have the exact same standard options. Whether it's a word processor, an image editor, a video editor, or a browser, it is likely to have options like new, save, save as, open, print, in the file menu. While the edit menu typically has cut, copy, paste, clear, select all, and undo. So, instead of going to file save in order to save the current document, simply hold down either control button and press the S key. If you want to cut the selected text and paste it elsewhere, simply press control X, then control V. If you make a mistake, first try to hit control Z. The right mouse button is yet another neglected button. Right clicking on objects and items gives us a host of options relating to the selected objects. For example, back in my computer, we may delete a selection of files by going to File, Delete. We may hit the Delete button on the keyboard, or we may right click on the selected objects and go to Delete. To open a file, we may go to File, Open. We may press the Enter key, or we can right click and select Open. You would be shocked how many objects in the computer have right click menus where extra options can be accessed. If you want to do something with a particular item, but don't know how, first try looking for the option in the right click menu. Another great and rarely used function of the control button involves selecting and deselecting items in a list. In all cases, to attempt to create a new selection will deselect whatever you have already selected. This can be a problem if you want to pick and choose which items are selected. But if you wanted to select only choice files, hold down the control button and begin clicking. And if you wanted to select all but a few files, hold down the control button while deselecting the item, and the remaining selected items will remain selected. There's a couple security issues that most computer users should be aware of. First is the use of a firewall. Firewalls are programs that prevent certain internet traffic and therefore protect you against hackers. Windows comes with a firewall program. A company called PC Tools makes an excellent firewall and it's completely free. Another security issue involves viruses and spyware. A computer virus is a program that engages in some form of malicious activity on the PC. Some viruses monitor keystrokes, and these are called keyloggers. Their task is to record the keys you press and report them to a website or server through the internet. These can be dangerous because they can easily expose personal information like passwords and credit card numbers to malicious people. Another type of virus is the Trojan. This type of virus gets its name from the Trojan horse story of Troy. The task of this type of malicious software is to open your computer to steal more viruses. Some viruses simply damage your files without performing any task for the virus maker. These are viruses born of pure maliciousness. They have no purpose other than to destroy. Some viruses are designed to hijack the browser and repeatedly expose the helpless computer user to advertisements. Often, the virus itself will advertise some no-name antivirus program. Some viruses monitor the websites you visit and report your net surfing to a computer who gathers advertising and demographics data. I recommend having two forms of protection. The first kind of protection is anti-spyware program to guard against spyware and adware. An excellent anti-spyware program is SpyBot Search and Destroy, available at spybot.com. 
Doing a SpyBot scan every month or so is a healthy thing. The second type of protection I recommend is antivirus software. In this, I mean true computer viruses. Two antivirus programs I recommend are AVG, available at avg.com, or AVAST, available at avast.com. Unlike the spyware program, which can be used every two weeks or so, the antivirus program should always be active and running. Computer slowdown is easily the number one complaint I hear from common computer users. Aside from disabling the startup programs and services, there are other means to speed up your computer and your internet connection. On the inside of the computer, you may see the processor fan and heatsink covered with dust. This dust stops the processor from radiating the heat it creates. The processor's onboard thermostat senses the increase in temperature and begins to slow down the computer's operation until the processor cools down again. Because the processor cannot work while overheated, even a moderate layer of dust can result in 20% decrease in the computer's speed. Cans of pressurized air can be used to loosen the dust from the fan and heatsink. A vacuum cleaner with the proper attachments can also be used. If you've owned your computer for more than 9 months, you would do well to check how thick the dust has formed within the computer, especially if the air in your house tends to be dusty or laden with animal hair. Check other places in the computer for dust and use this opportunity to clean that dust as well. A well-ventilated computer is a cool computer, and a cool computer runs faster and lives longer than a computer that was forced to run warm. Another tip for speeding up the computer is a program that comes with windows called Defragmenter. Defragmentation, or defrag for short, rearranges the files on your computer so that they can be read more efficiently. Defrag is usually found by hitting the Start button, Programs, Accessories, System Tools, and Disk Defragmenter. If your computer is experiencing slowdown, it is important to know the program and conditions which are responsible. If you find your computer acting up, press and hold the control button, then the alt button, then the delete button all at the same time. You will either be brought to a window that says task manager or a screen with a series of options on it. One of those options should be task manager. You can also reach the task manager by clicking the start button, then selecting run and typing in task MGR. The task manager is a program that allows you to view and terminate currently running software. In the Processes tab, you'll see a long list of programs currently running on your machine. You will also see two columns labeled CPU and Memory. The CPU column shows how much processor power a particular program is using. If you find a program that consistently hogs 60, 70, and 80% of your processing power, you may do well by selecting it on the list and ending the task. Go online and use the application's title to investigate whether other people out there are having the same issue. It may also be a good idea to find out whether the program is among your startup program and disable it using msconfig. If the Windows operating system itself appears to be acting up, hit Ctrl-Alt-Delete and end any task named Explorer. Then, in the Applications tab, click the New Task button and type in Explorer. This will restart the Windows desktop. Nothing takes speed away from your favorite internet browser than toolbars and plugins. Often, the unwary computer user installs toolbars unknowingly. When installing software, the common user is likely to not read carefully exactly what they are agreeing to. So, when installing software for the first time, Take note of the checkboxes. Rule of thumb, if there's a checkbox near it, then it's optional. 